Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Trauma Center New Blood. We're back here again, getting ready to go to the mines and take a look at this strange metal that seems to be uh, the leading cause, or not cause, but it assists uh, stigma in growing and I'm assuming reproducing, continuing to live, that type of thing. So we're going to investigate this mine and, or at least maybe the metal from the mine, try to figure out why it's causing all the sickness. And why, why it just started just now. Once again, we're back to, uh, to people speaking Spanish, which I once again still do not know. He says he'd be glad to tell us the way to the mine. Oh, that's very convenient he of you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for saving the villagers. Of course. Anything... Because, you know, I'm a doctor, and that's what doctors do. That's nice to hear. But tell Don't him that we still it. have a ways to go before stigma can be prevented. My men and I will escort you there. But it's a dangerous area. We should avoid staying there too long. There's no reason to worry. We have Pepita with us, remember? Besides, it's pretty important. What is Pepita going to do, bark at him? <laughs> or, or pant at them, that'll work. Oh. He says that since we have a dog, this might help. It's a towel used by one of the mine workers. Ah, this will keep us on the right track. Oh, I see. To track it. Okay, that's that's cool, I suppose. So let's get to that mine. I'm sure it won't be dangerous or anything in here. It's actually pretty well lit. I'm surprised. What is it, Pepita? Is something out there? Let her be. She's probably just barking at shadows. I doubt it. Last time she barked, uh, she was barking at our interpreter who had the weird fever tumors. But I have to admit, I'm a little disappointed. I wasn't expecting this mine to look so ordinary. According to Robert, this is the world's only deposit where special microorganisms live in the ore. So maybe those microorganisms are what's enabling stigma to go? I don't he know. He also told me that its formation has something to do with bionic alloying. Let's bring a sample back with us, even though we already have some of the imported metal. Valerie, do you think that the stigma here occurred naturally? This is a unique environment, although the ore's been mined here in the past. I don't think it occurred here. It seems more man-made than anything. Regardless, stigma is a bizarre organism. My guess is that it was intentionally introduced to the area. That's what I was thinking. But for what reason? Well... I remember what that to be, bastard Kidman to said? Be, to be evil! Is that... That's probably why I was introduced. Stigma would be the ultimate weapon there. What if this place was targeted? The mine? Yeah, considering the amount of profit it generates. So... Okay, so slight deviation off of what I thought. Maybe it's going to be used as a weapon here in order to... And then maybe they'll introduce a vaccine and they'll be like, Well, if you pay us, or if you give us the mine, we'll give your workers the vaccine or it something be surprising like that. If they showed up here. Besides, that would make sense. this is the perfect place to test stigma. You're suggesting that Kidman's involved somehow? It wouldn't be beyond the I have the realm of possibilities, I'd say. Pepita? Oh. <laughs> wow, Pepita. This is why you don't run off into the shadows. We're under attack. Return fire. Wow. Maybe we should I don't see them anywhere. <laughs> Maybe we should get in some cover. Pepita tried to protect us and Oh no, Pepita. What? Does Dr. Blaylock look a little funny in that picture? Vaughn always looks weird, but no, Pepita, <laughs> she looks a little back. odd in that one. Isn't there anything you can do for her, Doctor? She'll go into shock and die at this rate. I'm not a veterinarian. What the heck am I supposed to we do? No I know how to deal with people, not dogs. Well, we're not vets, but we got to give it a shot. It's oh all my right, gosh. Pepita. Okay. We'll save you. I don't even know what to do with the dog. Okay. Name, Pepita. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, it can't be that different, right? Just, just pull out the gunshot wounds and do some stitching, Let's I guess. Let's stay calm and talk this through. Multiple pellets have struck her abdomen. We've seen this before. Just not in a dog. It's a shotgun wound. Hey, Looks like she was shot from a distance. You remember though. so long ago when there was that one uh, thing that uh, it was 
they'd gone on a road trip, they're coming back, they're complaining about how um, the new medical treatment was actually being done on an animal. Maybe this will actually be useful None now. None of the pellets went all the way through, so they must be embedded inside her. Ow. Our goal, then, is to extract the pellets, but have either of you operated on a dog before? Oh, well, I mean, we do know that information, so we might be able to get a little Never bit done. Never in my life, but it can't be all that different. Let's remove as many pellets as possible without opening her up, and then suture the wounds. Got it. I'll do my best to help. Please save her. All right, cool. And see, that's what that's what I like about the second game that the first game didn't do. I've said it before, but I'll do what I can. They do different things. Like they, you know, like who would have thought? Just operating on a dog. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Maybe not a bunch of times, no, but a one-off thing is kind of cool. Arrest. Get out the defibrillator. But it's Do designed defibrillators? for humans. Yeah, work on dogs. We've got no choice. Just lower the voltage. Oh. I think my phone made a noise. Hold on. I'm going to go turn that off really quick. Be right back. Sorry. Forgot to turn my phone on silent. I always do it. I just forgot this time. Anyway, let's Here let's just go. lower the voltage. And hopefully the defibrillator doesn't you know kill the dog do. outright. Just I've lowered the voltage. Whoa. Keep an eye on the no pulse So we yet. have to hit it lower down. Yes. We have a pulse. Okay, cool. So it still works. But there's hemorrhaging. We need to deal with that immediately. Right, or she'll bleed to death. We'll need to take care of it as we remove the pellets. Keep an eye on the electrocardiogram, too. She may go into cardiac arrest again. At the very least, we don't have to worry about, uh... About running out of pellet. medical gel. Be careful, doctor. That takes care of this one. Okay, let's wait. wait. Don't do anything yep. yet. I knew that was going to happen, but I figured if we She's could get it done running. really quick, that would help us. Please use the defibrillator. I'm trying. It's a little hard to hit all the way down there. Her pulse is back. Let's continue the procedure. Yeah, it, it, even though it was fun, it's definitely nice to not be limited on how much gel I have here. Let's wait. Phew. I was worried oh. there for a second. Now, we need to treat the wound. Man. I doubt they're going to find the person who ever got the dog, though. That just doesn't seem likely. Doctor, something's wrong. Keep looking. I'm pretty sure she got shot. That's what's wrong with her. You need to just chill out and let me treat her. Okay, good, good. Let's keep going. Oh, what? What? Is the blood over here obstructing it? I didn't think about that. We'll... We'll drain all the blood and get that. Yeah, I didn't think about how the blood over there could have been obstructing it. Ah! Okay. Yep, yep. She's fibrillating again, so we'll get her again. Oh, that was darn close right there. I'm doing so much better at these, despite how they're supposed to be harder. Of course, we have to probably open her up. I doubt this is all that's going to work. Ah, uh, one more. This is what I was afraid of. We're not trained to treat animals. No, we, we, ne we don't have tropical training or animal training. Ah, I see. I mean, it's not... It's not that much different. So we should be able to get it. At least... At least better off than she is right now. We could definitely do that, I'm sure. We've removed all the okay, I got it, I got it. I don't see any other external injuries. What about, you know, the ones that are embedded in her? Let's get her back to camp. Okay. She's going into cardiac arrest? Crap. <laughs> okay, let's just fix that. Oh, that was, that was we good. We have a pulse. Looks like we bought ourselves a little more time. Let's get back to camp and leave the rest to the pro. Good job. I don't think we could have done anything more. You're gonna be all right, Pepita. Oh, I'm, yeah, that's what I... wonder if she's at all what we're saying. I'm sure she knows we mean well. Well, you kind of just, yeah, just cut her up, so. so maybe she doesn't. I don't know.
Of course, then again, there are, there are people that advocate that dogs can really understand people. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe they can understand intentions, but I doubt they can understand words. At the very least, we did prolong our life probably long enough to get out of here. And hopefully they actually have a vet somewhere that can deal with this. I'm glad it turned out okay. This is Sergeant Major Lopez. What seems to be the problem? What? Regroup immediately! Doctors, we have a situation. We have to get back to camp immediately. What happened? What's going on? Do we have to poke people with lasers? I'm ready. I got it. We got our infinite power supply here that can poke people with the lasers. Gorillas have attacked. A full -on battle's oh. broken out. We could throw scalpels at them. We could be like ninjas. Let's see what else we got. We could drain. Can we like drain the blood from their bodies? Just like cut a hole in them and then stick the drain in and just drain. <laughs> um, I n I normally don't pay much attention to my phone, but it keeps ringing. And it's bothering the heck out of me, so I need to just, like, answer it and then just put it away so I stop looking at it. So I will be right back. Sorry. Okay, back again. Sorry about that. It's not normally a problem, but this time it just kept making noise and bothering me. So let's go into the heat of battle. I, I really don't know what we can do against gorillas other than maybe poke them with a laser. That's really the best idea I've got. The liberation front. You are the true soldiers of this country. I like this guy's face. He looks mad. Look at him. The federal army no longer upholds truth and justice. Oh, is this the gorilla guy? The rampant spread of bribery and corruption throughout the government cannot be tolerated. He's got enough hair. He definitely looks like a gorilla. They sell our natural resources for their own personal gain. There is no time to waste. The good people of this country look to us to right these wrongs. The revolution shall arise from here. One of the best. One of the best. We Where your tacos are with seven tacos. Rumba, with our own hands. That was a really quiet, like, inspirational speech. Normally, you'd hear ah, or something going on afterwards. Just, there was like there was no yelling or screaming going on. I'm sorry, but your visit must be cut short, doctors. This area has become a danger zone. The guerrillas have taken one of the best. The government is launching a campaign to win it back. There's a military base nearby? Its existence has been kept confidential for strategic reasons. But according to our intelligence, Major General Ramirez has double-crossed us. Dang it, Ramirez! Our unit has been asked to join the mission the President has ordered. Sounds like a war's about to erupt. What are we supposed to do? Allow me to explain. Mr. President! We will be launching an assault on Wanadeo Base momentarily. Are you sure you should be around here? You know, not in some, like, bunker where you're not gonna get shot? I would be most grateful if you could tend to any soldiers who are injured in the offensive. We are short on medics, you see. We didn't come here to get involved in military operations. However, if we don't intervene, the guerrillas will attack the villagers. How oh, no. can you recognize the threat of stigma and simply ignore the threat of the gorillas? Yep, yep, see, now he's pulling the guilt card out. The doctor's gonna be like, no, I'm here to help people. I represent the citizens of this country. If you continue to defy their will, I will have no choice but to imprison you under martial oh, law. We don't want to be imprisoned again. We already got imprisoned once earlier, and, uh, and it wasn't fun. Mr. President, you can't be serious. These three came here with the best intentions. All right, we'll do as you ask. Dr. Vaughn, are you sure, Marcus? But we'll only do it on the following conditions. We want, we want lots of laser fuel. First, you agree to use the profits earned by the mine to help stigma patients. That includes aiding the villagers. If you truly represent the will of the people, then that shouldn't be a problem. Secondly, you must transport all injured combatants, friend or foe, to us. We're not taking sides. Very well. I accept your conditions. Yay, quality! We're heading to Wanadale. Okay, cool. So I guess we are going out there. And we're helping in the way we know how, which is apparently not poking people with lasers or throwing Order scalpels. Support, sir. We penetrated the front gate. But actually operating on people. Oh, we're who are hurt. Casualties. All right. Take the injured to the visiting doctors. 
What's the status of the enemy? We estimate that they are few in number, sir. However, we have received some disturbing information. Apparently, there are some foreigners providing them with assistance. Oh no, stupid foreigners and their assistants. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such Arms a thing? Dealers. The foreigners. Oh. Okay. Well, at least they're not journalists. Let's proceed. As <laughs> at least they're not journalists. This really is a war. Yeah, you, you didn't know there was a war going on? It's detestable. But I'm afraid it's a reality of the world we live in. Doctor, the first aid tent is filling up with injured men. Looks like the nightmare is only beginning. Come on, let's do what we can. And guess what we get to do, guys? It's another 10-minute mission, so this is going to be our last one for today. Um, electrical burns? Man, what, what kind of guns are you guys using? You got, like, electric bullets? Is this... Is this Borderlands? We're shooting people with electric bullets? Uh, okay. And they're gonna just keep sending crap at us, so we're just gonna have to keep treating it as fast as we can. We've gotten word that five patients are headed oh, our way. Oh, that's gonna not be great. They're not gonna be heavily injured. I mean, all things considered, like stigma patients are. But they're still going to be oh, really quite is hell, a isn't it? hard thing to deal with. In? The first patient has severe electrical burns on his upper body. He touched electrified barbed wire. Now there's a thing where you get hurt in war, and there's a thing about being stupid. Even worse, <laughs> don't touch the electrical barbed wire. The shock. There's no time to lose. What about the others? We don't have any information yet. We'll just have to deal with it. Come on. Just deal with it. Okay. Uh, I used Valerie last time, so we'll use Marcus this time. No one's gonna die on my watch. Let's no one's going to die, because if they do, we will lose the entire game. Don't let anybody die. I'm not sure if this is... Wow, that looks bad. Oh, we're going to have to do graphs here again, aren't we? Get the defibrillator ready. All right. Hurry. We'll begin treating his injuries as soon as we get a pulse. The defibrillator is ready. Please begin. There we go. We have a pulse. Let's start treating these electrical burns. Prepare for skin transplants. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. Inject the culture fluid into I remember the right this. half of the patient's body to prepare skin for transplanting. Please begin by either injecting the culture fluid or by treating the pools of blood. Uh, which one? Is it this one? Inject nope. Inject the coolant into the skin. Remove the portion of skin with the scap we can only use... I know, I didn't mean to hit that. Tissue. Shut up. Inject the fluid on the right half so of the body. So this guy's gonna suck up quite a bit of her time, unfortunately. I don't know if it's like the, uh... Another pool of blood is uh, what's it called? Let's prepare a few more sheets of donors. If it's gonna be like the first game, or I mean not the first game, um, yeah, oh yeah, the first game where they sent us ten stigma patients, or five stigma patients in ten minutes, and we just had to get through as many as we could, or if, or if uh. The burns turned black. We can't. Another burns got. I know. Worse. I'm not trying to. It's really hard. The skin graft before the area begins bleeding again. There's still more of the burned area to cover. Please affix the skin. Please move on okay, to the Okay, so we got that one. Area. This Make is going sure to be very difficult. Worse. The coolant's working. Quickly, remove the burned skin. As there are still other areas that have turned black. I know. I know you, you just need to shut up and let me treat them. Because this isn't exactly easy. And he's bleeding down there, but I don't care. He can bleed down there for all I care, because I'm just going to keep sticking patches of skin on him that apparently come out of nowhere. So I, I just pulled all these patches of skin out of him, and he's like, nope, I got more. I don't need I don't need that skin. That skin's for losers. Alright, he's going to lose a bunch more vitals here, and we're just going to keep cutting and don't care. Isn't 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 skin grafts the most exciting operation to do? It's not bad. Oop. Okay, that one's down. It just because it takes so long to prepare these cultures, like these uh, these skin grafts, is why it takes so long to get any of this done. And I'm missing. Oh. He was hidden behind the text again. That happens a lot in this game. <laughs> it's 
the good news is, is uh, we're getting through this at a reasonably good clip here, even though this normally takes a long time anyway, we're still doing it at a fairly decent clip. I'm trying to think of what else I was going to talk about. I don't know if I'm going to play Trauma Center, uh, or the Trauma Team game, I think is what it's called. I've always been interested, but... I don't really know much. Oh, you kidding me? I, I know how skin drops work, game. And I'm so mad at you for bleeding that off, guy. That's gonna cost you. If you got any money, we're, we're taking it from you now. Uh, we'll worry about that top one later if I need it. Alright, so this should be enough skin drafts, assuming that, uh... Oops, wrong one. That he doesn't... I didn't miss that. I didn't miss that. That was that was the game. The game thought I missed it. I didn't miss it. Hopefully he doesn't bleed these off. If he doesn't, then we'll have enough to finish him off here really quick. What was I saying? Oh yeah, but I don't know if I ever want to play the Trauma Team game, because... I've heard that it does some cool things, but it also did some, like, uh, some not-so-cool things. That, took us a while. that did take us quite a while. The next patient is already waiting for us. Hopefully they are not burned, otherwise we're only gonna get two patients done. I don't know Percent. if I'll let's play it either. How's the next patient? But I'll, I'll just, you know, if I, if it looks good, I might. He's taken I'll think about it. From both a rifle and a shotgun. Dang, man, you kept going, didn't you? Got it. We'll start. Drain the blood. Extract it and treat the gunshot wound. The blood is pooling again. Please drain ah. it. Man, this guy—he got hit by a rifle and a shotgun. He just kept kicking. More blood. Drain it, then treat the wound. Oh man, we're going fast on this. What? You got anything else we need to treat here, guy? Why are you here? I mean, we got loads of time now. We're done out here, but there's still damage to the abdomen. Uh. We need to open him up and treat him. Okay, well, well, we'll see what you got wrong with you inside, guy. Fix it, too. This is bad. This isn't that bad. Let's use the You've dealt with worse. Yeah, I feel like we've definitely dealt with worse. The it's the like way. nothing bad here. I mean, if we had, we had to deal with... Oh, actually, these vitals are dropping fast. But if we had to deal with that one guy who we didn't even have any uh, stabilizer for, I, I feel like we could definitely deal with this. In the way again. Blood blood. You mean the blood that I extracted? Oh, is that the rifle? I didn't miss that. Is that the rifle right there? The rifle round? Like a rifle round. Yeah. This is Ooh, only yum. part of the bullet. The other piece seems Ooh. to be lodged inside. Ow. Drain the blood and make an incision. There's the rest of the round. Let's get it out. Ow. It only takes a that is a nasty thing. Someone. It takes us this long to heal him. What else you got, guy? Anything wrong with you? Oh, you got some stuff down here. Yeah, it does take us quite a long time to heal him. If only we had a medigun, like this is Team Fortress 2 or something. I'm too lazy to move the screen. That'll do it. Let's close him up. Uh, we're not doing great on time, but maybe if the rest of the guys don't take too long, we could get them done as well. Please maybe. Close the incision. I mean, we only have three more patients, right? Uh, in four minutes to do it. Uh. We were able to treat him in a good amount of time. Yeah, that first guy sucked up way too much time. Good luck with the next patient. That's why you want two player. You want you want the second doctor standing there, like, to work on the burn victim because that's so hard to do by yourself. We've gotten a message Ooh, from ow. headquarters. Our backup is on the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So I think if we don't get them all done, we'll still be okay. But they'll still uh. We'll still be able to finish the mission even if we don't get everybody. That's good to I think. hear. I just hope they make it in time. Come on, who's the next patient? Doesn't say what happened. But he's taking a massive I think he might have uh, run into some glass. He ran into a glass wall, maybe. That's kind of what it looks like to me. Look, we fixed you up in direct time. External injuries. There's nothing wrong with him. Let's send him off. But I'm worried about his internal organs. There's I nothing wrong with him. Up. Don't look inside. There's nothing in here. Dang it, guy. I was expecting something worse than this. I've got a bad feeling about this. Please close the wound. Suture the wound before it opens again. 
I think that blood might have gotten in the way. That's all of the large lacerate. Please begin treating the next wound. Those aren't stabilizing. Let's look around. Does he have like a giant piece of glass somewhere? Oh, moves. good. Strange. His vitals aren't stabilizing. Yeah, because he's got giant lacerations in him. That's why his vitals aren't stabilizing. Um, you know, maybe from that, you know, giant holes in his chest. I'm getting really, really risky here. I should boost his vitals. He's probably, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Should be more. There are more. And I'll get him once his vitals are high enough to actually survive the cutting and the draining. Oh man, your vitals are getting low, man. It just takes so much vitals to cut this guy that I always have to boost him after every time. Where, where you hurt at, guy? I don't see anything. Is it behind somebody's head? Oh, there we go. There we go. He'll be all right now. Let's start closing him up. Get the next two guys done in like a minute each. Maybe we can do it, but that's gonna be really close. We gotta hurry up if we're gonna do it. Close. We are. We're cutting it very, very soon. close. They're gonna get here at like the two at the zero. He's oh, a heavy wow! Blow to his left side. Ah, you don't look too bad. This isn't good. His vitals are too low. Broken bone and various external wounds. He seems to have internal injuries too. We have to open him up immediately. I'm worried about his internal organs. I'm sure his internal organs will be fine. Let's boost him a bit before we go. Cut him open right here. Oh, that's not good. This is bad. First, we need you to said that about everybody. Fighters. You said everyone is bad. Let's watch out for hemorrhaging. Oh no, I didn't pull that out wrong. Don't get mad at me, game. I didn't. I'm not pulling it out wrong, game. What happened to your spleen, guys? Stop bleeding everywhere. I think this guy needs to learn how to not rupture his spleen so much. Spleen is in pretty severe condition. Dang, man! What the heck happened to your spleen? Oh my gosh, his spleen! It's like it's got a mind of its own. Your fault, guy, not mine. The wounds, we can reassemble the bone I don't think. I think this is the last guy we're gonna get. Cause we're gonna cut it close as it is if we do this. Or maybe down here. I didn't even look down here. Yeah, we are cutting it close. I don't know if we'll be able to get this one done. How do? How does puzzle? I don't even understand how puzzle works. Ah, there we go. Okay. That can't fit there. We've reformed the there we go. Use the antibiotic gel to yeah, we're gonna cut it close, just finishing this guy. Oh man, yeah, we gotta cut him. We gotta do it fast. Please close the incision. Come on, guy. I believe in you. Don't die on me. Time left. No, we have it exactly 30, 13 seconds. I don't think we can do anything to this next guy. This is the last patient. The report says that she may be suffering from hemorrhaging in the pericardium. I'm sure she is. That doesn't sound good. Let's open her up. Let's just take a look. I mean, there's not really anything we can do at this point. The myocardium is hemorrhaging. We'll have to stop the bleeding. Please continue the operation. But look out for that hemorrhaging inside the pericardium. We found a hemorrhage. Now drain suture it before it hemorrhages again. No! There we go. Our backup has arrived. Yay! Use the backup. Oh crap, I gotta do this. Oh, I gotta do this area. myself. Treat the ones that oh, deal with hemorrhages ah! inside the heart is a race against time. Hurry. We can't handle anymore. 
I'm requesting backup from the army. <laughs> I thought that they were just gonna take over the patient. That's why I stopped operating. <laughs> for Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock, two gifted doctors who strove to perfect the pain of their mistake. Without a part, they both... Okay, so, um, I'm gonna re- I'll just, uh, because I know what's coming, I always do these missions better on the, uh, on the second try. So, I'm gonna replay this mission, and I'll bring you back to when we start with that patient, and I should be able to pull together a little bit more time to get the last guy done, and even if I don't, it's gonna make me finish him off. So I will see you back on the on the last patient. So be right back. Okay, back again. Um, sorry about that. So I think I managed to save about maybe 45 seconds on the burn guy just because I was able to, you know, streamline what I was doing a little bit. And I saved maybe another 30 seconds on the uh, on the last guy before this, the guy who needed his bones replaced, or not replaced, uh, replaced. Did I just say the same word twice? Yes, I just did. Put back into place. Which is kind of the same thing. But we aren't replacing them, we're just placing them back. That's kind of weird. Anyway, but, uh... So I managed to save a little bit of time. I think we won't quite make the 10 minute deadline, but we'll be darn close this time, I think. So let's keep going. We found a hemorrhage. Ultrasound to look for the hemorrhaging areas and treat them. Treat the ones no. dealing with hemorrhages oh, man. inside the heart is a race against time. Yeah, yeah that's the only option I have to save this guy is to put that on right now. I was saving it because I felt like we might need it for this operation, and I'm pretty darn glad I did save it. So I was like, I could probably save some more time with it, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I saved it for this because it's so much more useful here. Condition. Oh wow, okay. That was pretty quick. I thought that was gonna be a little worse. So maybe we did get everything done. That one's not bad as long as you can keep your patient alive while doing it. Which thanks to the healing touch I was able to. I think if I didn't have it, it would have been pretty darn hard. It's amazing that we were able to save them all within our time limit. Yeah, I, I actually didn't expect that in the slightest. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. We did good though. I, I was I was basically just speeding through everything just to get it done. Man, they should give me something better than that. That's hard to do. To speed through all those. I have a Can I get a cookie support, at least? Sir. One of the obeses back in our hands. It's back in your hands, but I still hear you shooting guns. I feel like you don't fully have full control here. The gorillas here. have surrendered and are disarming as ordered. They're surrendering, but yet they're still shooting. That doesn't sound right. What about Ramirez? He's nowhere to be found. He must have slipped away. Dang it, Ramirez! Don't let him escape. We must capture him and ascertain the truth. Get Ramirez. Calm the entire area until you find him. So, maybe if we're lucky, we'll find Ramirez next time. Signed in blood. We'll get to that next time. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time for more Trauma Center New Blood, where uh, we are finding something signed in blood. Seems rather sinister. Thanks for watching. Bye!